Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into some fun Magic the Gathering Lord of the Rings tins I found at my local Walmart. So what do you get for your money here? It has two promo cards, three set boosters, and a nice collectible tin. So very cool, and I think... The fine print here, yes, MJ Holding is the distributor, so they usually do the mystery boxes and so forth. So let's get into it. These things go for $21.98 from your local Walmart, which actually isn't a bad deal. The uh, set boost is currently selling from local game stores for about 6 bucks a piece, and there appear to be three different designs. At least that's what I found at my local Walmart. So we've got a nice plastic thing here. Anything else in the bottom? Nope. And actually this is a uh, decently sized tin. You could put dice in here. Pretty cool. So we've got our three set boosters. Let's check out the promo cards. Curious what these are about. So we've got Lathral Blade of the Elves, Foil Etched Mythic. And that is actually a promo specifically. And also, oh nice, Lanawar Elves with the retro border. Alright, so maybe we'll get the same thing, maybe we won't, but we will check them out. Okay, let's get cracking here. Hoping to pull the One Ring. Or maybe some Orcish Bowmasters. Okay, so this, I'm going to say, is that Sauron? We have Sauron the Necromancer, along with a Swamp. Westfold Rider, Esquire of the King. Knights of Dol Amroth, Dunedain Blade. Gandalf, Friend of the Shire, so he was on the tin. Elrond, Lord of Rivendell, Horses of the Bruinen. Entdrat Basin, Lash of the Bullrog, and Born Upon a Wind is the rare. Okay, Foil, Nasty End, and a Magic Minigame, Sharky's Tithe. Okay, so first pack, nothing too crazy there. Let's see what we can get in the next one. Leave a note in the comments, have you actually found these at your local warm-out? So it's... Uh, September 1st, 2023, we've got Arwen and Dumil. okay, we'll pop that down there, and a Mountain, Gimli's Axe, Gimli's Fury, Erebor Flamesmith, Bag End Porter, Peregrine Took, Maridoc Brandybuck, Bilbo Retired Burglar, Barrow Blade, and Shire Sheriff. And the rare is Horn of Gondor. That is not too shabby. Foil, nasty end. What's up with the nasty end? Oh, and a mythic sword of feast and famine. Nice. We do not have any sleeves, so I won't sleeve it up, but I'll do that later. Okay, I need to be better on top of things around here, people. On to the next one. So the set boosters have a one in four chance of pulling something from the list. So, cards from throughout Magic history. We have Field of Ruin. Nice Foil Mountain. Along with Eastmark Cavalier. Westfold Rider. Esquire of the King. Knights of Dol Amroth. Rise of the Witch King. Voracious Fell Beast. Shadow Summoning. Theoden King of Rohan. Gandalf, Friend of the Shire. And Yoan Fearless Knight. Okay. Foil Bow. Witching Leechcraft. And a Ballistic Boulder, that one's fun. Just an add on the other side, okay. So we did pretty well that first one. I'm gonna say that probably paid for itself with the value pulled. So let's see what we can do in the next one here. And I should show off the tin artwork as well. So that one, and we had the nice Gandalf for the other tin. Okay, on to the next one. So they often do this for Yu-Gi-Oh! and other TCGs, but this is the first time I've seen tins in Magic. So we've got another Lathral and Lanawar Elves. Okay, so it seems like those are pretty common across the tins. Okay, getting into our next pack. 
pack of Lord of the Rings. See if we can get that one ring. That would be awesome. This... What do we have here? Fog on the Barrow Downs, along with a Foral Forest. We have the Torment of Gollum. Soothing of Smeagol, Captain of Umbar, Pelagir Survivor, Fiery Inscription, Bitter Downfall, Rangers Firebrand, Gollum's Bite, sensing a bit of a theme here, Shire Sheriff, and Fall of Gilgalad for the rare. Foil, Shelob's Ambush, and Crumbling Colossus from the list. So that one's originally from M12. Not quite as crazy as the sword, but we will see. Actually, no list pull in this pack here. Uh, that is... What's his name again? Legolas, Counter of Kills. We have a Plains. Uruk High Berserker. Mordor Trebuchet, that's the one, yeah, that has the uh, fun token. Rush the Room, Olokai Crusher, Old Man Willow, Rise of the Witch King, Voracious Fell Beast, Shadow Summoning, Nasty End, and Smeagol, Helpful Guide, take him on your next tour, he is awesome. Foil Enraged Huon, and an Orc Army. Okay, one more pack here. So they actually had quite a few at my local Walmart. They had about a dozen tins, so no need for me to clean them out. They're all pretty much the same, it looks like. We have Cavern Horde Dragon, along with a Mountain, Orcish Medicine, Mordor Muster, the Torment of Gollum, uh, Yorath of the Healing House, Yoma of the Riddermark, Urkenbrand, Lord of Westfold, Legolas, Counter of Kills, there he is again, and Frodo Sauron's Bane. So we've got the Showcase Rare. Also, Yuma Marshal of Rohan with the nice borderless art. I think this is the one you put them all together and you get a huge scene. We have Gandalf the Grey, another rare. Foil Rosy Cotton of Southlane and some treasure. Okay, so that was pretty cool. Let's see what we get in the next one. So I think it's going to depend what you pull as to whether you get your money's worth. But like I said, packs going for about six bucks a piece from your local game store. So here we have the ring. I would suggest this is probably the coolest of the tins. Let me know in the comments what you think. Okay, so we've got Lethral and the Elves again. Okay, so it seems like the same thing. I'm curious if you pulled anything else out of your tin. Okay, what do we got here? I have no idea. It is Galadriel of Lothlorien. We've got a forest along with the Black Breath. uruk Berserker, Mordor Trebuchet, Rush the Room. Denethor, Ruling Steward, Old Man Willow, Rise of the Witch King. Voracious Felbeast, Shire Sheriff, and War of the Last Alliance is the rare. Foil Prince Imrahil the Fair. And from the list, we have Sea Hunter. Awesome old school artwork on that one. Some fun reprints in the list slot for sure. Along with a bit of spicy stuff now and then. Okay, so the Horn of Gondor, we saw that earlier. We've got an island, and Pelagir Survivor, Woe's Pathfinder, Protector of Gondor, Aaron Rider of Gondor, Faramir Field Commander, Dunedain Rangers, Shortcut to Mushrooms, and Ringsight, Nasty End, we keep pulling that card, and Faramir Prince of Athelion for the rare, Foil Relentless, Rohirrim, and the ring, still hunting for the one ring, and no, you cannot pull the serialized one of one or any of the other serialized ones. So the one of one, in case you didn't know, that was pulled by some guy in Canada a couple of months back. So yeah, very cool. If you've seen any interviews with him, Galadriel gift giver for the art card. We have a swamp, Lash of the Bullrog, Nasty End again. Serith Ungol, Patrol, Shelob's Ambush, Quick Beam, Upstart, and Landville, Horizon Witness, 
Men Menaldor, Swift Saviour and Peregrine Took, along with Assault on Osgoliath. One ring to rule them all. Okay, nice saga there. Foil Galadrum Guide. And a magic minigame battle of the Hornberg. <laughs> Do you have a favourite minigame from Lord of the Rings? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so final tin here. Still hunting for the one ring, but like I said, I'd settle for... Some nice Orcish Bowmasters that would do the trick nicely. Okay, so let me guess. Promos gonna be exactly the same. The Elves and Lathral. Okay, so yeah, if you want to have a bunch of those in your collection, you know where to find them. Final 10. Let's get into it. What have we got here? Some big dragon. It is Witch King Bringer of Ruin. We have a Swamp. Dreadful as the Storm. Claim the Precious. The Black Breath. Urukai Berserker. Shadow Summoning. Theoden King of Rohan. The Mouth of Sauron. Ugluk of the White Hand. And the Grey Havens. Nice borderless art. Sharky Tyrant of the Shire for the rare. Foil Easterling Vanguard. And a Magic Minigame Winchester Draft. Okay, two more packs to go. So yeah, the uh, value pulled I think was best out of the first one. But yeah, still nice to get some set boosters from this set. We got a signed art card. Aragorn. Oh no, Theoden, King of Rohan. Okay, and we have an island. Knights of Dole, Amroth, Dunedain Blade, Improvised Club, Lash of the Bullrog, Lost to Legend, Grima Wormtongue, and Yorif of... Yorif. Yoreth of the Healing House. Some of these names, I tell you. Yoma of the Riddermark. Pippin's Bravery. This is another one that goes in that big scene. Ooh, and an Orcish Bowmasters. Ding, 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 ding. Yes, that is what we're looking for, people. Foil, Yuma of the Riddermark, and Endless Obedience. There is Liliana and her army of zombies. All right, one more pack here. And if you want to see more Lord of the Rings goodness on the channel, check out the playlist in the corner. So we've opened a ton of stuff so far. And this guy is... Uh, I f what is it? Saruman of many colors. I was going to say Gandalf's... Uh, Enemy, we have an island. Stuarts of Osgoliath. Inherited envelope. Bombadil's song. Gandalf's sanction. Council's deliberation. Stone of Eric. The bath song. And Peregrine talk. Ooh, a Nazgul. Yes, there are nine different Nazgul. These are worth a pretty penny. Awesome. And Lotho corrupt sheriff. Gimli Mournful Avenger in Foil, and Nashi Moon Sages Scion. It's a mythic from the list. Nice pulls today. And if you want to see something pretty crazy, we open one of every pack. Going all the way back to Antiquities. Link in the corner. That is for sure a huge nostalgia trip. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.